other one. It's right on the front line animal removal. And I want to show you how a contractor made it easier for bats to get into a house. So let me show you what's going on. <clears throat> we got some bat poop stuck here. We've got nice beads of caulk, nothing getting in here. We've got some little urine droplets on top of this light. And up here, kind of dirty here. Now that dirt's from the bats. And where are the bats going? I don't know if you can see. There's a little slot right there. Over here, behind the drip edge, you can see the roof decking. And the decking stops, and then you got a little slot. And all the brown is from transfer from the bat fur. So this is where they're getting in. You step back and look at it, it looks like nothing. You might be wondering, well, how did the contractor make it easier for the bats to get? Well, see this? This decking right here should run up to here. And then the decking over here should run up to here. And I can hear a bat pup. Um, what they did is they cut this short for a ridge vent. They should have stopped the cut a couple feet from the end of the roof, but they ran the cut all the way past the end of the roof. And that opened this up and lets the bats get in. I've seen this on several houses. It's just a quick and easy way of doing a ridge vent. Um, but if they simply left that last couple inches of wood right there, that's what figured it out. Thank you.